So sometimes when you take the guy down, you get him into this position, but no matter how good you are at putting pressure, if he turns towards his belly, you basically find yourself in the same position where you stop, you're leaning on his head, it's bad for him. I could crank it back and keep him on his belly, or I could go to the north-south that we just did and start to work. But smarter guys, or guys that are more instinctive on the ground, they'll rotate towards you. And now, if that shoulder gets to the floor, you've lost it. You don't have the lock. So the easiest thing to do now is you have to earn a hole in that armpit, which means usually hammering to the radial nerve, or elbowing to the radial nerve, punching to the nipple, elbowing to the nipple. Boom, and I drive on this. And what I'm doing is I'm not only cutting up with my radial bone into his arm, but I'm driving the fulcrum of my elbow into his floating ribs, under his nipple, and I'm either kneeling on his face, or at the very least shinning into his nose. So I have a break, meaning a stopping point. And I pull him, and then he doesn't have anywhere to go. So again, if we look at the mechanics from a north spinal position, I've taken him down, but that as soon as that elbow escapes, whoo, you're in trouble, oh, I'm in trouble. So from this position, uh, usually this, this is the only thing, pressure onto his face or shin into his head is, is the fastest way to boom, stop him from rotating. Boom, I drive in and I hook it. So now I can keep it in stasis at any point, make room, pull him over. That's what you're looking to do. Yeah. That's the last one, far side seat. Underhook on the far side. It's basically an underhook and pike, 